Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series of ICC 9th Maths. We were doing the chapter Simultaneous Linear Equation, that is chapter number 5. And we were doing the sums from R.S. Agarwal, exercise 5a. In the previous exercise, we have done the sums till question number 10. Today, I am going to start from question number 11. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching your favorite channel, Arpita Classes. Let's get started. Question number 11 is 4x plus x minus y upon 8 is equal to 17 and x plus 2y is equal to y minus 2 by 3 minus 2. So, first of all, we need to get them in the standard equation. First of all, we have to get these two equations in the standard form. So, let us do, let us take 8 as the LCM over here. So, it will be 32x plus x minus y is equal to 17. So, 32x plus x is 33x minus y is equal to 8 will go that side. So, 17 into 8. So, that is 33x minus y is equal to 136. This is my equation number 1. Similarly, I process this side also. x plus 2y is equal to, I will take LCM 3 y minus 2 minus 6. In the next step, 3 will come this side. 3 whole into x plus 2y is y minus 8. So, this is 3x plus 6y. I will get y this side. Minus y is equal to minus 8 or 3x plus 5y is equal to minus 8. This is my equation 2. So here I can see this is 33x and this is 3x. So we can multiply this equation by uh, 11. So I write here multiplying, multiplying. Which equation we are multiplying? Equation number 2. So equation 2 by 11. Solving the sum by elimination method. So it will be 33x plus 55y is equal to minus 88. This is my equation 3. Now I will subtract equation 1 and 3. So I am writing here subtracting subtracting equation 3 from 1. Okay, so I am doing it here this side. So first I will write equation number 1 because I am subtracting 3 from 1. So equation number 1 I am writing first 33x minus y is equal to 136 and equation number 3 is 33x plus 55y is equal to minus 88. Now while subtracting we will change all the signs of the second equation. So this will become minus, this is also minus and this is positive. This gets cancelled minus 55 minus y is minus 56y is equal to 48. Okay, so y is equal to, sorry, uh, we have to add these two together, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. We have to add them together. So, 8 plus 6. 224. Yes. So y is equal to 224 upon minus 56. This goes by 4. So we get y is equal to minus 4. Now once we get the value of y, we can substitute it in either of these equations 1, 2 or 3. So I will look for the smaller equation that is equation number 2. So I write put, put in y is equal to minus 4 in equation 2. So my equation 2 is 3x plus 5 into minus 4 is equal to minus 8. So here I am getting 3x minus 20 is minus 8. 3x is equal to minus 8 plus 20. Minus 8 plus 20 is 12. So x is equal to 12 upon 3 that is 4. So we get the value of x is 4 and y is also minus 4. So let us proceed with the next question, question number 12, x plus 2 plus y is equal to 4 by 5. So let us take LCM over here, that is 2. So it will be x plus 2y 
is equal to 4 upon 5. Now we cross multiply. So it will be 5 whole into x plus 2y is equal to 8. So that's 5x plus 10y is equal to 8. This is my first equation. The second equation is, I take LCM here again 2, so this will be 2x plus y is equal to 7 upon 10. First I will reduce it to 5s are 10, now cross multiply, so it will be 5 whole into 2x plus y is equal to 7, so that's 10x plus 5y is equal to 7. So here, this is my equation number 2. So I can see here, this is 10y, this is 5y, and this is 5x, and this is 10x. So we can multiply either of the equation to make the coefficient same of any of the quantity x or y. So let me uh, let me multiply this equation by 2. So I write here, multiplying, multiplying equation 2 by 2. So I get 20x plus 10y is equal to 14, that's equation number 3. Now this is also 10y, this is also 10y, we have to subtract. So now I'm writing subtracting, subtracting equation 1 from 3. So first I'll write equation 3. So 20x plus 10y is equal to 14 and here it is 5x plus 10y is equal to 8. So when subtracting, this sign will get changed, minus, and this is also minus. This cancels. 20 minus 5 is 15x is equal to, uh, this is 6. 15x is equal to 6, or x is equal to 6 upon 15. So that's 3, 2, 3, 5. So answer is 2 upon 5. So for x, we are getting 2 upon 5. Now we can put this value. So we write putting x is equal to 2 upon 5 in equation 1, okay? So 5 into 2 upon 5 plus 10y is equal to 8. This gets cancelled. 10y is equal to 8 minus 2 goes that side. So 10y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 6 upon 10. So that's 3 upon 5. So the answer for y is 3 upon 5, sorry. 3 upon 5. This is the answer for y. So x is equal to 2 upon 5 and y is equal to 3 upon 5. So let us proceed with the next question. Question number 14. 4x four plus 6 upon y is equal to 15. Now here we see the variable is in the denominator. In this case we will consider that 1 upon y is equal to some other variable that is m. You can take anything, a, b, c, d, anything. So this will become 4x plus 6m is equal to 15 and this will become 3x minus 4m is equal to 7. Now what we will do is we will multiply this equation by 3 and this equation by 4. So this becomes 12x plus 18m is equal to 45 and this is 12x minus 16m is equal to 28. Now we subtract the two equations. I am not writing the statement anymore. You can just practice with me. Subtracting, this will be minus, this will be plus and this will be minus. This is cancelled. This is plus. So add it. 34m is equal to 17. So m is equal to 17 upon 34. That is the value of m is half. Now what is our m? 1 upon y. So put it, 1 upon y is half, therefore y is equal to 2. Now we'll put this value in any of the equation. Suppose I'm putting it in equation number 2, this is my equation 2. So putting y is equal to 2 in equation 2. So this is 3x minus 4 upon 2 is 7. This is 2. So 3x minus 2 is equal to 7, 3x is equal to 7 plus 2, 2 goes that side, so 3x is 9 or x is equal to 3. So the value of x is 3 and y is 2. So the next question, question number 15 in front of us, 
5x minus 9 is equal to 1 upon y. So we will get the variable this side first. So I will write it 5x minus 1 upon y. I will get the constant term this side is equal to 9. Now I will consider let 1 upon y is equal to m. Therefore this equation becomes 5x minus m is equal to 9. This is my equation suppose 3 because this is my equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now from here I will get x plus m is equal to 3. This is equation 4. So this is minus m and that is plus m. So we will add the two equations 3 plus 4. So 5x minus m is equal to 9 and this is x plus m is equal to 3. So this and this gets cancelled. 6x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 2. Now we can put the value of x in either of the equations. So I can write putting x is equal to 2 in equation 4. So 2 plus m is equal to 3. m is equal to 3 minus 2. So m is 1. Now what is my m? 1 upon y. So put it here. 1 upon y is equal to 1. Cross multiply y is equal to 1. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. In equation number 16 we can see that x and y both of them are in the denominator. So now in this case we will consider 1 upon x is equal to m and 1 upon y is equal to m. So the first equation becomes 2m plus 2 by 3n is equal to 1 upon 6. Now take the LCM here, 3 is the LCM, 3 into 2, 6m plus 2n is equal to 1 upon 6. Reduce it, now get to this side, so 2 whole into 6m plus 2n is equal to 1. So 12m plus 4n is equal to 1. This is my equation 3. Same thing here, this equation will become 3m plus 2n is equal to 0. This is equation 4. So here it is 12m plus 4n and that is 3m plus 2n. So what we will do is, we will multiply this equation by 2. Okay. So this equation becomes 6m plus 4n is equal to 0. This is my equation 5. So now this is plus 4n, that is also plus 4n. So we will subtract. So we will write 3 minus 5. So first I am writing the third equation. 12m plus 4n is equal to 1 and this is, this is 6m plus 4n is equal to 0. Subtracting minus, minus and minus. So this is 6m, this is getting cancelled is equal to 1 or m is equal to 1 upon 6. Now let us substitute the value for m that is 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon 6 or x is equal to 6. So one of the value we got x is equal to 6. Now we can put this value of m in either of these two equations. So I am going to put the value of m in equation 5. Okay. So I am writing putting m is equal to 1 upon 6 in equation 5. So 6 into 1 upon 6 plus 4m is equal to 0. This is getting cancelled. So 4m is equal to minus 1 or m is equal to minus 1 upon 4. So what is n? Our n is 1 upon y substitute. 1 upon y is equal to minus 1 upon 4 or y is equal to minus 4. So this is the value for x and y. So the next question is question number 18. x plus y is equal to 2xy and x minus y is equal to 6xy. So we can now see that on the right hand side also we have got variables. So we have to get a constant term on the right hand side. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide every term, each and every term by xy. So write it down dividing, dividing each of the terms by xy. So this will become x upon xy plus y upon xy is equal to 2xy upon xy. Now see. Here x and x gets cancelled, y and y gets cancelled. So this is 1 upon y plus 1 upon x is equal to here x, y, x, y gets cancelled too. So basically we get 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is equal to 2. Now we know how to do this. We have to now consider 1 upon x is equal to m and 1 upon y is equal to m. The same thing we have to do 
In the second equation also, x upon x y, we are dividing all the terms by x y. So this is 6 x y upon x y. So here I get 1 upon y minus 1 upon x is equal to 6. So that is minus 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is equal to 6. Now since 1 upon x and 1 upon y are this, so this equation will become minus m plus m is equal to 6. This is my say fourth equation as this was the second, this is the first and here the equation becomes m plus m is equal to 2. This is my third equation. So now we can add the two equations 3 plus 4. We do 3 plus 4. So m plus n is equal to 2 minus m plus n is equal to 6. This is getting cancelled to n is equal to 8 or n is equal to 4. Now what is my m? 1 upon y substitute. 1 upon y is equal to 4 or y is equal to 1 upon 4. Now similarly I can put the value of n in either of these equations to get the value of m. So I am putting, putting n is equal to 4 in equation 4. So minus m plus 4 is equal to 6, minus m is equal to 6 minus 4, minus m is equal to 2, m is equal to minus 2. Now my m is 1 upon x substitute. So 1 upon x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 1 upon 2. Okay. So basically I did the sums little fast because already we have done a lot of practice. You can pause the video and you can do the sums on your own and then you can get the answer checked from here. So today we have done till question number 18. Now in the next video we are going to start from question number 19 till 25 and this exercise will get over. Thank you so much. Please like the video and subscribe the channel if you are liking what we are doing. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.